Good day everyone and welcome back to the NetCave. In this tutorial, we will look at the DS1302 real-time clock module. We will connect it to the Raspberry Pi Pico to display the date and time on the popular 16x2 character LCD with I2C adapter. The DS1302 is easy to set up and although microcontrollers can keep time by themselves, for example, here we access the Pico RTC, set the date and time and print it out. But when we disconnect the power or the USB, the internal clock will stop and reset the timer back to the date and time we have initialized it. In contrast, the DS1302 will always have the correct time and date unless the battery runs out of charge. So let's have a look at the DS1302. The DS1302 trickle charge timekeeping chip contains a real-time clock, calendar, and 31 bytes of static RAM. It communicates with the microprocessor via a simple serial interface. The real-time clock provides seconds, minutes, hours, days, dates, months, and year information. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need the following component. Raspberry Pi Pico, 16x2 character LCD with I2C, the DS1302 module, also ensure that you have a fully charged 1.5 volt cell. And then finally, a breadboard with just a few wires. Here we have the schematic diagram with all the pins connected to the module, including the physical pins on a Raspberry Pi Pico. After following the schematic, you will have a working circuit. We need to plug in a Pico and write some code on Fonny. We need to download some libraries to control the DS1302 and the LCD. Watch this video first if you have never worked with the i 2 Seed LCD module. I have added these libraries with the example code to my Raspberry Pi Pico tutorial on projects GitHub repository. I have provided links to the creators of these libraries if you want more detail. Download these four files to your computer and open them in Fonny. Save the libraries to your Pico and leave the main.py file for last. Let's look together at main.py to understand how does this code work. In this block of code, we will import all the libraries. To set up your I2C communication, you need to know the address of your device. In this case, mine is 63. So here we set the I2C address and we set the number of rows of our LCD and the number of columns. To find your I2C address, run the following script on your Pico to receive your address in a terminal. Now we can initialize our I2C communication and LCD, setting it equal to the variables I2C and LCD. Now set up the real-time clock by initializing it with the DS1302 library and we will set it equal to the variable DS. To set the time, you need to change the following code with the correct information. After uploading this to the Pico, comment out this line of code. If you do not comment out this line of code, every time you restart your Pico, it will have this initial starting date. We can now create an endless loop to write a year, month, day, hour, minutes and seconds to our screen. In this block of code, we create variables of our set date time and do some basic formatting to better display the date on the LCD. We set our LCD cursor at position 00, 0 and write the string time, which we then move our position to column 6 and write the hour, minutes and seconds. We then move down one row, write the string date and display the day, month and year. Then we can just upload this to the Pico and that is how we can keep time with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now if I unplug the USB from the Pico and plug it back in the Raspberry Pi Pico, we can see the time has continued from what was displayed last time, meaning the DS1302 has been keeping the time. Subscribe to the Nerdcave channel for more tutorials on the Raspberry Pi Pico and projects. If you have any questions or want a specific topic to be covered in the future, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.